On the surface, Watkins and Thomas had much in common, yet they had very different ideas on how to gain fair treatment at Hopkins. I had been exposed to Dr. King and the whole civil rights movement. I was looking at what was happening at Hopkins, which was not too different from Alabama, to be honest. And so I was getting outspoken about what we should do about black medical students, interns, residents, faculty, and so forth. I know he wanted the same goals of equity, racial equity, and racial participation. But I think uh, he had a different way of going about it. In 1978, Watkins became the first black chief resident at Hopkins. He was anxious to change admission policy. He reminded me, you know, I was not on the faculty. I did not have a faculty position. Uh, and that maybe, you know, I needed to basically chill on this issue of race, uh, or that is, being upfront about it until I had a solid position on the faculty. So I did just that. I stopped talking about it as much during my training, except on the night I finished my whole program at Hopkins and they had a little festive occasion. My brother-in-law, who had been with Dr. King, said, Levi, this is the time. He said, you know, don't make them too uncomfortable, but this is the time. So that night at the Halstead party, I set out my action agenda. Keep going. Keep going. Like Thomas, Watkins led by example, and he was a medical innovator. He was the first surgeon to implant an automatic defibrillator in 1980. His innovations in managing postdoctoral programs have changed the culture of American medical education, making it more inclusive and supportive of minorities. As Watkins continues his active support of groups like the United Negro College Fund, the lessons of Vivian Thomas's life have helped him inspire a new generation of students. As I think about it, and I think about some young boy from Tennessee coming up and relating to all of the heart surgeons that he related to in the way in which he related, he was teaching them techniques but at the same time, he was teaching them humanity.